<laughs> okay, um, so far in math for this chapter, we've been putting shapes together to make new shapes. So we're going to do the same thing today, except for we're going to do two steps instead of just one step, okay? So yesterday, it would give us a shape, and it would tell us to find this shape in that shape. So we would take and draw our line to show those two shapes, okay? So today we're going to do the same thing except when I put those two shapes together to make this shape, then I'm going to do this shape again to make another shape. So do you see these two shapes in here? But then do you see this shape in here? Do you see that? So we're combining and combining again, okay? So let's read the directions to see what it wants. Cora wants to combine shapes to make a circle. She has How can Cora make a circle? So what's Cora wanting to make? A circle. a circle. So that's important information to know. She wants to make a circle, but all she has is this. So what are we going to have to do to make a circle? Okay, you're exactly right. We need to make this one three more times, and then we're going to have to put them together. But first grade, can I put them together like this? No, because it's not, it's not going in a circle. Very it's good. So That's wide. not a circle. I wanted a circle, right? So what am I going to have to do to my shapes? I'm going to have to move them around a little bit, aren't I? I'm going to have to put that one over here. That one here. Put this one over here. Whoops, maybe. I don't know where that guy went. Put this one over here, right? Oh, wait up there. Where did they come? They went up this way. This one so anyway, we're going to have to turn it, right? What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, I see it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I had to make more of this same exact shape and turn them around to make my circle. So this is what I did. Laura had this shape. So I made it again, right? Isn't that what she told us to do? So if I put these two together, that makes this shape. What does this look like? It looks like a kind of like a trap. No, what does it look like? It does. It looks like half a circle. So, here's my half circle, and I'm going to make this shape again now. Did I make Cora's shape again? No, I made the half circle shape again. So then I put these two together to make a circle. Isn't that what we wanted to make? Okay. See what we're doing? Okay. So we're going to use a square to make a larger square, okay? So I already have a square, but now I want to make a bigger one, okay? So I'm going to put these two together, and it's going to make a rectangle. But where are my two squares? They're inside of it. So where am I going to draw my line? Like this? In the middle. Like, go up, go up, from side to side. Why does it have to be this way? 
very good for string because I have two squares so it needs to look like two squares okay so now all I had to do was draw my line right here now I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to put it here what shape did I make rectangle so and another so I put these two, a bigger square. Where should my line be? Down the middle. Okay, so do you see the two rectangles? Okay, so I have to do two steps. Here's step one, here's step two. So I put these two together here. I draw my line. Then I use then I transfer this thing to here, and I do it again. Isn't that pretty easy that all I have to do is trace it? And then I put them together here. So all I have to do is draw my line. Okay, does everyone see what we're doing today? All we're doing is combining Combining, combining, Combine but you have to show it by drawing lines and by drawing the new shapes. Does everyone understand? Mm -hmm. Okay.